Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Data visualization, okay? It's a term which is often used at various places and spoken about when we are talking about data analytics and um, not data science particularly but in someone who has interest in data world and also when we speak about power bi um often people say that okay power bi is a data visualization tool so to first to be to understand power bi we need to understand exactly what the term means okay what the data visualization as a term means yeah. so um if i talk about a simple definition it is a process of acquiring interpreting analyzing and comparing our data in order to clearly you know communicate our ideas now mm-hmm. these are a lot of terms to understand you know acquiring interpreting analyzing and comparing if i talk in a simple term um bringing our data from raw format to easily be able to you know present our idea in front of our manager in front of our client in front of our stakeholders is basically what data visualization means the process of creating charts creating graphics making changes to the data or giving an impact to our uh, stakeholder basically is the visualization process okay so what we have done to understand data visualization better is we have divided it into three parts the first one is called transformation now transformation is where and is a step which is often missed by people it is basically a step where we bring raw data from a source for example i have an excel file which is absolutely raw there is uh, you know it, you know there are data which is unclean so it's it's an unclean data set in yeah, the, raw uh, data. the raw data exactly in uh, in maybe an excel file i bring it to power bi and convert it from raw data to a structured data set now when i say structured data set a structured data set may vary from an individual in terms of visual representation in terms of what a person wants to do out of it but we just convert it into a format which can be further used okay so we are moving from raw data to a structured data format that that particular step is called transformation um if i want to use a technical term it is called etl e meaning extract t meaning uh, trans trans transform and l right. meaning load right. okay so etl is the term that is used often for this process right. the second part that comes up is translation and visual representation which basically is the uh, heart of data visualization world shaping our data into visuals and charts okay now we have mentioned shaping of data this basically means that we are going to um connect multiple data sources to each other and then creates visuals and graphics and make calculations out of it make um, new columns new rows not not new rows sorry make new columns out of it create a visual representation create visual graphics out of it so that mm-hmm. all is covered in translation and visual representation the third part that comes is perception and interpretation now once i have made a chart like for example i create a bar chart in power bi my bar chart should be easily able to communicate that okay for example uh, these top 5 people were the highest selling uh, departments and uh, top 5 of the departments were the highest selling departments the others were at the low and it should also point out the lowest okay so i i might you know choose to change colors for top 5 it's green for the rest of them it's blue and the lowest it's red okay so this is kind of a perceptive impact that okay these are the highest ones these are the average ones and this is the lowest ones okay so basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to create an impact on our knowledge so our user or our client or our stakeholder when or our manager for that matter when first sees our bar chart 
should be able to understand that how we have divided the data, who are the top performing ones, who is the who is the lowest performing ones, and who are the averages. Okay, yeah. so yeah. creating a interpretation out of it, creating a perceptive impact out of it. Okay, so this is how visual representation is, uh, visualization process is done. Now what happens is, in most of the tools, we do not have the transformation part. Okay, the ETL part. Usually what happens is that people um, take up ETL, take up transformation in a, in a different tool and then come to uh, other tools where they can visualize the data. So, but with Power BI, good thing is that we also have transformation aspect where we can change our structure, where we can, you know, make modifications in terms of how the data looks like. Okay. okay. Um, visual representation, of course, is available everywhere in most of the tools, I mean, most of the visualization tools. And the last one is perception and interpretation. Now, perception and interpretation is not something that a tool particularly would do, okay? Now, tool is not going to color my data set. Tool has the option of coloring the data set. I would create a perceptive impact out of it. I would give an average line. I would give a mean line or I would give the colors to the data, correct? Yes. Correct? It's yes. not the tool who's going to do it. So that's why uh, the third step or the perception or interpretation step is something that is a specific to an individual, to a developer, not something that uh, uh, that is very commonly available within the tools. Okay? Yes. Having said that, Power BI still helps us to do that. It has some of the analytical features. It has some of the uh, AI tools, AI meaning um, artificial intelligence tools, which, you know, Power BI gives us the rough idea about how we can create an impact out of our data. But majorly, the role is of, an, of a developer to create a perceptive impact. Now, uh, do you have any questions regarding it? Mm, no, it's okay, no, no. Yeah, it's okay. It is clear. Okay. Great. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.